Hi guys, I'm Mike and this is Civilization 5. This will be um, my first official recording of the game. Uh, I had previous takes but uh, since I'm not used to recording sessions, uh, they were epic failures you can say. So I hope this uh, one is uh, better than the first ones. So this, um, I had uh, I had this game for over four years already. I had uh, completed several uh, uh, games or playthroughs before, and I decided to come back now to try some new things, specifically to record the uh, game uh, offline game by the way uh, I, I don't have an um, active internet connection at, in, in my house so um, I'll record it offline and then upload it tomorrow in the office so I want to try out some new things before I've been playing this game um, in um, higher difficulty modes deity level actually I've completed several of them the last one is using a mod <coughs> from uh, Forgotten Realms um, um, I played that I used to play this game I wanted to play it like it perfect uh, manner so I used to I'm used to playing it by reloading save games so I'm trying now to avoid those um exact uh, no cheating exactly and I mean just play it whatever whatever comes and just hope for the best so I uh, this current playthrough let's load it now I've already started it um, so we'll be recording in the middle of the game already um, the setup is random the computer gave me Ramses as my civilization all the other uh, offline uh, AI is random, set to random. The map is Earth, huge type. The difficulty is deity level, and the pace is marathon. I wanted, I wanted to also to try um, marathon. Uh, it's different from the standard game so here we go as a recap uh, yeah the computer gave me Egyptian sieve and uh, I as I find found out later on while exploring the map um, I'm set up here in started here in continental Europe approximately the area of Germany Black Forest this is probably the Danube River so this must be the approximately the Black Forest area in Germany so I had um, I had no other sieves close to me in Europe except this this one England we started somewhere in Russia and Suleiman in started somewhere in Africa maybe so Europe is more almost entirely minus of now 
so the other thing I wanted to record this game and play it again actually um, you know I had to I wanted to avoid uh, like I said before I wanted to um, no cheating so play the game as it happens no reloading and uh, so far yeah the reason I wanted to record is um, like last night uh, it is interesting that uh, at this difficulty level deity I'm still alive despite a lot of mistakes already and last night like last night one of the things um, I had a spare settler here I wanted to send it to this place I know this was unoccupied for a long time um, I had scouted it before and I saw I was too overconfident I guess when I sent a settler without an escort and when as it uh, crossed this over the boundary here I didn't realize a barbarian encampment has a spawn and that pikeman uh, aggressively attacked my or captured my settler I wasn't expecting that because previously in the previous turns uh, the barbarians um, usually stay put in their encampment not moving out but then I don't know maybe it's uh, because it detects that it's only a settler so that pikeman aggressively moved and captured my settler I sent a chariot to get it back but uh, I thought if uh, I'm, I will use an arm unit that pikeman will not attack but uh, maybe it's, it's since it's detecting that it's a weaker unit it attacked anyway and destroyed my chariot uh, an Egyptian special unit destroyed it utterly so I sent my tiring unit here way back to destroy that pikeman so what's interesting is I was still I mean despite those mistakes I was I was still confident I can get that settler back but unfortunately my friend here Suleiman yeah he's uh, my friend in this game I'm not at war with him he sent one of his knights and landed here and captured that settler he did not return it to me and instead made the city of his own right here now I lost Spain where I'm supposed where supposed to be this uh, is given this is a given already to me so there there you have it so now I'm currently at war with London and uh, Iroquois it's a three-way war actually uh, is Yawata at war at war with India, England and this Elizabeth at war with India yeah like that so it's a seesaw battle over here England has actually and even Eriquai one time has captured Memphis before I took it back and even extended as far as Coventry this was an English city before uh, but then uh, while England was recovering Iroquois attacked from the north here Kuala Lumpur is his ally so it's, it's used as a staging ground and pushed me back out of Coventry uh, he used about approximately five to six Mohawk warriors and a couple of archers I had to withdraw most of my units I think I lost a couple of units there and then uh, I bounced back destroyed uh, those more warriors one by one and captured back Coventry now this is all I have right now
That's all, uh, my, uh, all my military units are here in the eastern flank. And uh, just um, successfully defended a raid from England. I, I actually, I was counter-attacking here across the Iroquois um, approach, uh, trying to uh, press Kuala Lumpur. But um, England, uh, which has recovered from the earlier battles, um, tried to take Kuala Lumpur from the south. Well, Kuala Lumpur was um, sending his units north here, but then uh, had to fall back because of that. But then England sent his, some of his units here, so I decided to um, to fall back here because I saw some longbow units creeping up here. Okay, and that's why these two horsemen units are damaged. Um, there were previous battles here from pikemen and longbow units. I actually destroyed one longbow and one pikeman. Um, now uh, I have to go from there. Okay, so I have a spare settler unit. Where to go now? Yeah, I was planning to put. Uh, one more city here near that gold resource and another one here in England and uh, Britain so um, I think I'd better send to take that gold first should be another settler here somewhere I thought I was making one more settler in Pyramses 28 more turns now I better send this one to get that gold first Cover hill. Now, what to do? Should I press against Hastings? But I remember he has two more longbowmen units here near Kuala Lumpur and another one here. There could be more down here, I don't know. Last time I had the battle with England, he was used, she was using. Uh, classical units, classical era units. I think uh, besides the pikemen, uh, archers only. Now he has longbowmen, medieval uh, special units. So he has, she has recovered militarily. I have to be careful. And I don't know, Hiawata, the Iroquois are probably recovering also. But Kuala Lumpur, I know he has two units here. I, um, I don't know, maybe England has already taken them out. Because last time I remember there are two longbows already uh, adjacent tiles to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, wait, I'll just heal up first and then decide and while thinking. Better heal first. I need to scout Hastings before moving in. These are these horsemen are medic units, so. Um, they are more uh, useful healing together and adjacent tiles so they can heal faster and these captured workers need more improvements 
and runes. Yeah, runes definitely. The good thing about specialty units, you can. That's very expensive to convert, upgrade, cut, and no man. Good thing with specialty units is they increase the. Um, while using them in combat, they increase the um, generation of generals. But since we're in the medieval, some of ships are in the Renaissance era already. Becoming more use more obsolete this classical Egyptian unit. So should I upgrade them for a decreased mobility but increased firepower? Alright, you shall see I don't even have money. The good thing with this unit is its range and its mobility its movement points is five the problem is uh, when it gets it cannot move after it has attack and when it moves to a rock terrain it stops its movement completely these archers are just about the same with this one in terms of firepower but Mobility is very slow. Swordsman unit are good for taking out cities and spearmen, pikemen. But they are slow. Once I enter into this forested country, there will be um what they call this it will hamper their movement and will be easily picked up by bombardment so I have to be careful so I need I need scouts I need scouts Kuala Lumpur and Hastings I really need this wall, there's no other area to expand to except in this territory. I need those dice also. I need happiness. Mm. I need more chariots. Holy, I cannot make any more chariots because I can now make a knight. This is not cool. I need the special units for general generation. I need happiness and gold. So which one? I can only choose one. Uh, or I'll get a unit. Ah, oh, you don't need iron for night. Just need horses, knights, or horsemen. Fine, fine. I need to see this. Need to expand before I'm overwhelmed. Ah, 
swordsman dan upgrade to pikeman is it yeah the upgrade to long sword hmm. what to do What to do, what to do? I have to wait for them horsemen to heal up. Send them as scouts first before sending in the heavy infantry. Is this as a knight? They think. Mm. Give a couple of turns, think about it. There are uh, long bowmen here, maybe I can take them out. Lord Arctic, what else is there? cannot see the one firing that means this one is acting as spotter and that other one has three range I hate longbows the other way yeah I can take this out just have to get away from the other unit down here to heal up that the advantage of being in a hill these archers as range units are useless down here they need an elevation that means I can only attack this unit with infantry or I have to close up with my range unit but I don't know what is here there could be units here so I have three tiles to attack this one this one is dangerous I mean this tile is risky that other unit must be here that other longbow must be here that means I can only attack from here 
and use to bring this fully healed ah, gracious and to heal up then Question is, has he two range or three range? We shall see. Let's make it this one as bait. We'll see if he attacks one, two, three range. Let's fortify him. Go. Oh. 